This episode of Photonics Hot List is sponsored by Metal Arc Optics, where they take on what others won't. Challenge accepted. Hi, I'm Justine Murphy, Senior Editor of Laser Focus World. Let's take a peek at what's happening in photonics. Coral reefs feature some of the most diverse marine ecosystems on Earth, housing and supporting thousands of different species of fish, mollusks, sea turtles, and the coral itself. Reefs protect shorelines, help support tourism, and plants and animals within them have even inspired potential cures for diseases like cancer and arthritis. So it's critical to better understand them and help them thrive. Researchers from Southern Cross University in Australia and CSIRO, Australia's National Science Agency, are working to do just that. The team is using underwater macrophotogrammetry, an imaging technique that combines macrophotography, photographing small objects up close and at very high resolution, and photogrammetry, a process that acquires 3D measurements and information from photos. This unique combined approach, which involves high-resolution cameras, has allowed them to create 3D models of coral reefs by essentially stitching numerous photos together. With these very precise, realistic 3D models, the researchers say they can track changes in the coral reefs and the creatures within it, and gain a more complete understanding of their entire ecosystem. A new laser beam steering system shows huge potential for light detection and ranging, or LIDAR, a technology that's fundamental for autonomous vehicles. In fact, it could someday upend this realm altogether. Developed by a team at the University of Washington, the new device is fit onto a chip and has no moving parts, making it sturdier, easier to fabricate, and about 1,000 times smaller than other LiDAR designs. The new device utilizes Brion scattering to detect and image objects in 3D from as far away as 100 meters. It works via the combination of optics and acoustics to guide a scanning laser beam at very high frequency sound wave pulses across the chip's surface. Obtaining images requires the laser beam to be steered at different angles and branded with different unique frequency changes. The researchers say only a single receiver is needed to decode whatever light and information are reflected back from the scanning beam. This one coherent receiver also only requires a single imaging pixel, not an entire camera. The team now aims to boost the device's performance by doubling its scanning distance. Visual perception is among a human's vital sensing functionalities. Mimicking those perception and adaptation functions has become increasingly important in the development of artificial intelligence systems, but that's been difficult to do accurately, until now. Researchers in China have successfully emulated visual adaptation, allowing artificial visual systems to autonomously adjust their responses to light stimuli. The team from Northeast Normal University has developed a two-terminal optosensor based on multi-layer gamma-phase indium selenide flakes. Combined with ultra-high mobility and broad spectral response, the researchers say multi-layer gamma-phase indium selenide shows great potential for the development of high-performance photoelectric conversion devices like solar cells and LEDs. The new artificial visual device is self-powered and demonstrates more accurately than ever human eye-like perception capabilities, such as visual adaptation from UV to near-infrared light and photosensitivity recovery that allow your vision to automatically adjust based on various light environments. The team says this work could help artificial intelligence systems, sensors, and machine vision technologies. And that's your Photonics Hot List. Don't forget to like and share and visit laserfocusworld.com for the latest and coolest news and information, including the recipients of this year's Laser Focus World Innovators Awards. Until next time.